Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a free AI writer that can be used without needing to, you know, jump through a lot of hoops. And um, as well as I'm going to show you how you can use the content that it generates in different ways. So make sure you watch all the way through. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. So the AI writer I'm about to talk about is called HyperWrite. And it's new to me. This may have been out for a while, but I just discovered it. And I'm always trying to show you and you know, share my tools because I know, you know, there's a lot of expensive tools out there and people are trying to get you to spend money. But I want to show you free tools so you can get started. And Hyper HyperWrite, once you sign up, this is what the dashboard looks like. And you can go ahead and click on New Document. Uh, you can go ahead and click on either a blank document where you just start writing and it will autofill for you. Or you can go with a guided document, which is uh, it'll walk you through the steps of the writing process. I'm just going to go with the blank document to make it easier. All right. And then from there, you choose your purpose, whether it's for school, work, entertainment, or others. Uh, I'm going to choose work. All right. And then lastly, you're going to give details. And it says, what are your instructions for writing this document, if any? So they gave you an example. Okay, Write a three to five paragraph essay on the state of global warming. Include effects it is having now and how that will change in the future. Uh, let, me, let me do something like that. I'm going to say write a three to five paragraph about... Uh, way free ways to drive traffic to your website. Okay, so then I'm gonna say include um, unique ways. Uh, include unique methods. And now I'm just going to click continue and then we go to style. Hmm. You can add it in. I don't have one. So I'm just going to go to doc. All right. Now you can either pick sentence or paragraph. Paragraph is a paid option. Okay. So you have to upgrade. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, but you can go to sentence. Let's try sentence out. All right. So nonfiction or fiction, and then enter the description of what you're writing. Um, <clears throat> there are many ways to generate traffic to your website, but nope, comma. But I would, but this article will show you how to do it for free. All right, and then save. Let's go to sentence. All right, so now you can see at the bottom there are several different options. All right? There are many ways to generate traffic to your website, comma, but this article will show you how to do. Uh, okay, so you want to generate traffic to your website. There are many ways to do this, comma. Free traffic is the most desirable traffic you can drive to your website. It is free because you are. All right, so I'm going to say, let's go with the second option. And then it goes and auto-generates another bunch. All right, so... Um, but some are more effective than others. What follows is a short list of free ways to drive traffic. Uh, but this article will show you a couple of free ways to drive traffic to your website, these methods. But this article will show you how to do it for free. I'm going to go with the second one. All right, and then wait till it generates three more. Now, so far the options are pretty good uh, compared to the other free ones. All right, so... Say great, huh? Maybe a copy checker 
and other languages and how did you find us other all right so let's just finish that survey real quick uh, let's see these methods are free are going to get you huge aren't going to get you huge amounts of traffic but they will get you to your I'm gonna try with this one now as I was saying earlier uh, this is a lot better than some of the other free uh, AI writing tools that I use all right and as you as you select it, it, it auto populates it for you, okay, within the document. That's the neat thing I like about it, too. Um, okay, so get you to your website, and even if you don't use them, you can still use the information and with the minimum amount of effort. So let's take a look at a few. All right, let's try this one. I'm just going to keep going for a little bit more, maybe one more, and then I'm going to. I want you to check the red. So let's take a look at a few ways you can drive traffic to your website. All right, and I'm going to stop because you know, I think you get the idea. I'm going to copy this. Just uh, right click and copy. And I'm going to go check to see how well it does through a third party sister system called Grammarly. How well does it read? And how well is it, uh, you know, unique? Okay, give me a sec. All right, and I'm going to use Grammarly Premium to go ahead and check this. So that way you get a feel, I guess a, a, a rough feel of how well, um, you know, how, how, how good the quality is. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as, uh, as this and click Done. All right, and as you can see, without any editing, it scores about an 88. It has decent uh, looking correctness, clarity is good. It says a little bit bland, so the engagement is a little bit low, delivery is just right, and style is good. Now, let me go ahead and check plagiarism, because that's important as well. And we'll see how unique this article is compared to what's out there on the internet. And it says, basically, this is, um, you know, only 11% of this text matches one source, okay? So all in all, it's it's not too bad, only 11%. A lot of these, you know, what, what they had in the past was article spinners used to give something like 50% uniqueness score, and that was considered decent. Or if it was if it was to get to this stage at only like 10% or 11%, uh, sorry, only 90, if it was 90% uniqueness like this one is, or 89% uniqueness like, like this article is, then it would be unreadable if it was a spinner. But this is an AI writer, and it's absolutely free. So as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you know it, it's pretty decent quality for what you can get for free. Now, as a bonus, let me show you what you can do with, with something like this. Now, yeah, you could use this in an article, but if you you know tweak it a little bit, you can also use it as something else. Now, if I go to this free text to speech. Uh, tool which is quite good it's called Watson uh, by IBM you can go ahead and paste your text into here uh, you can change a few settings if you like but let me see I'm gonna try Lisa and I'm gonna go ahead and play the voice okay so you want to generate traffic to your website there are many ways to do this but this article will show you a couple of free ways to drive traffic to your website. These methods aren't going to get you huge amounts of traffic, but they will get you to your website with a minimal amount of effort. So, let's take a look at a few ways you can drive traffic to your website. Okay, so as you can see, the quality of this text-to-speech is, is the most realistic I've you know, ever seen, you know, whether it's paid or free. Uh, whether I'm, I'm, I'm comparing it to you know Polly, I'm comparing it to Google Voice Voices. Um, you know, this is quite amazing. So what you can do is you can take take this audio now, okay, that's produced, and you can go ahead and uh, pair it with a slide, and now you have yourself a video. All right, so that's one way to do it. And if you want to know how to use Watson and how to you know download the audio, there's another video uh, down below. Uh, link down below, and I'll, I will uh, 
list an article that has all the links for everything I talked about and instructions on how to use it for those who like to read everything. All right, so if this video was helpful, could you please hit that like button as it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.